guys, my name is Lena, I'm a graphic designer and this is my channel for beginners in Adobe Illustrator and in a graphic design. And today I'm going to talk with you about trends in a graphic design in 2020 and in 2021. And of course I'm going to show you everything with help of example. If you're interested, please keep watching! Perhaps you ask why you need trends of 2020? Already September and you need to figure out what trends will be in 2021. Now I will explain everything to you. Look, trends don't work like that on January 1st they appeared and on uh, December 31st they immediately disappeared. One and the same trend can move from year to year. It can move in the same form because people love it very, very much and it can also take new forms. For example, there is the Memphis style. This style has been with us for several years, but recently it was decided to refresh it and neomorphism style is appeared. But I want to say here is nothing new in it. Uh, because style Memphis and style Neo Memphis came to us in 80s. The same with flat illustration. At first everything was simple, uh, but when began to add new elements to flat style and now flat style of uh, 2012, not the same like flat style in 2020, but still it's a flat style. It means that one style can live with us for many, many years. And today I'm going to show you the most popular trends of 2020 and the most predicted styles and trends in 2021, because no one knows uh, this trend will be with us one year or some months or many, many years. My trends are based on articles from such cool online sites like Creative Log and 99designs. And recently I took part in a webinar from Envato. And in this webinar we talked about the best trends of 2020. Ok guys, and now let's take a look in the trends. 80s. I like this trend the most because this is trend of the era of the coolest movies in my opinion such as Terminator, Robocop, Predator and of course my favorite is Back to the Future. This trend is back to us thanks to the Stranger Things series. The first season focus on the investigation into the disappearance of a young boy aiming supernatural events occurring around the town, including the appearance of a girl with psychokinetic abilities. And in the style of 80s, the second part of the movie Wonder Woman comes out. The events take place in 1984 and that makes it clear to us that this trend really hooked people and therefore the creators of movies, series and also designers won't let go of this trend for a long time. Examples The main colors in this style are pink, blue and violet and the main element in this style is often the sun. 20s this trend of the style Art Deco, sometimes named as Deco. It's a style of visual arts, architecture and design that first appeared in the France just before World War. It combined modern styles with fine craftsmanship and rich materials. During its heyday, Art Deco represented luxury, glamour, exuberance and faith in social and technological progress. Examples The main colors here are gold and black and you can create the help of this style, for example, VEP card or background to invitation. Flat style and limited color palette 
This style looks like flat and the same time 3D and has only few colors. But it's not the new. Now we on the website of the famous French illustrator Malika Fav and her style is described as minimalism in pop art, but for me it's the same flat style with limited color palette. For me this style already like a classic and I think it will be with us for many, many years. Cyberpunk and Neon Cyberpunk is a subgenre of science fiction in a dystopian futuristic setting that tends to focus on a combination of low life and high tech. Examples Here you see a very futuristic city of the future and Unreal Road looks like it was made with a glass. And of course Neon. This is trend or the trends. I would say it will be forever the past because people love these beautiful colors of neon lights and it's the trend of the past, nowadays and the future. Examples I selected only one example with these cute neon icons I think in your usual life you see a lot of such neon lights, for example, it's very often when you came in the store there is an open or closed scene in the neon style. Atmospheric gradients In last year Pantone announced that a 2020 color is a classic blue, a shade reminiscent of the sky at dusk. It's a color that anticipates what's going to happen next, said Laurie Prisman, the vice president of the Pantone Color Institute, which selects the color of the year. But for the designers, just blue is a very boring, and they decided to add atmosphere to their designs. And a great example here this portfolio. I think the author filled the whole deep of the blue, but these additions of pink, orange and blue colors make a lot of these designs. Ultra thin geometry. Geometry is always popular, but in last year it was a massive geometric, but in this year thin Examples I selected these two backgrounds to show you examples of ultra-thin geometric. Paper cutout effect It's one of my five effects because it's very unusual and has a realistic look. It's a trend last few years and I think it will be popular in the next year. Examples this is not just an example, this is a tutorial on my channel in a paper cutout effect. Many of you already made it and sent to me to my Instagram. So glad you like it, guys! And if you didn't try to create this effect, then you need to try it. Ok, guys, we talked a few about uh, the most popular trends of 2020 and about the most expectant trends of 2021. So, the next few tutorials on my channel will be focused on these trends. I will wait for you in these tutorials and in a new videos about the graphic design. So, see you guys! Bye bye! Mwah!